We have a personal rating email that works 2222 at gmail.com. You can also email this works 2222 at gmail.com. This is a reading for Gemini. How you doing, Gemini? Gemini, Gemini. How's it going? You're a, a well, a pretty awesome sign, I suppose. Yeah, no doubt. And you're, you're definitely capable, Gemini, of some special things that you don't know about. And I want to not be big headed here. Come on, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't want to be big headed, Gemini. I want to be big headed. Okay, come on. I like to like myself. I like to like myself. I think I want to think I'm cool. I like to think I'm cool. If I can't think I'm cool, then I'm gonna be like, damn, this sucks. I'm not even cool. You understand? So, so, um, so I'm not trying to be big headed. I'm just the best there is, Jim. I'm the best there is. Okay, I'm gonna be the best there is. That's all I can tell you. All right. So don't so, so don't think this guy like is like who's this guy think he is? He thinks he's pretty cool, man. He thinks he's pretty cool, and plus he thinks he's even got some cool stuff too. All right. So, uh, give me a hard time now. Don't be judging on me, Gemini. Don't be judging on me. I know you're going to be judging on me. I don't want you to be judging on me, Gemini. All right. Uh, <clears throat> so, no, no, I'm going to give you unique insights, Gemini. Now, I'm going to tell you things that will never be unheard of. I'm a de-Romanized version of astrology that, uh, that uh, uses genetics, advanced genetics. I'm an advanced geneticist without a degree. Um, yeah, without a degree. I'm a psychologist without a degree. Gemini, come on, give me the, give me the faith here, all right? I'm, I'm going to tell you things that blow your mind. i never heard of them before. But, uh, yeah. I, uh, I got the goddess from the prime two with the god. That means they're both together. That means they're married. It's mom and dad. I got mom and dad. I got, I got the goddess. I don't talk to dad because I, I don't know why. Dad doesn't talk to me. I talk to mom. And uh, I call her the goddess. And... Uh, and uh, I, I, Dad's there with her, uh, so I hear. I don't see either one of them. I just kind of, like, yeah, I interpret this from my feelings. So yeah, I've been doing it for a long time. It takes a while to be able to do it correctly, or at least accurately. And then you got to get information that actually works. Um, so understand, yeah, I'm just trying to tell you, Gemini, my credentials here. How, well, how do I know what I'm talking about? Well, I mean, come on, you you don't need to see any other tarot card reader. Go anywhere else, uh, ever. Just here. You got it. You found me. Oh, good. Then you're done. You're done. You don't have to search. Your search is over. Uh, well, probably, yeah, unless you already turned me off. But, but no, no, I mean, because, no, yeah, you know, I don't do, uh, I don't, I'm not a regular tarot card reader, I'm not a regular astrologer, Gemini, I'm, a, uh, I'm, the, I'm the best, the best, unique, and uh, I only provide you with information the astrologers don't know. I only provide you with information that is unknown, unheard of, lost as a secret, or otherwise not there to anyone else. Yeah, that's all I do. I'm specializing in providing a unique version of astrology tarot. That, uh, yeah, well, it's unique, you know, and if, if there's any other good people out there doing it, then maybe they are. But uh, I don't just do regular tarot and astrology. I do esoteric mis the mysteries, you know. I pull it all out of the, I find the secrets, okay? So, all right, so should I get busy or keep talking about my how great I am before I start yet? All right. All right, come on, Gemini, I'm going to start now. Are you ready? All right. Let's do it. Let's shuffle the cards, Gemini. Shuffle the cards. And, uh... I'll tell you about yourself, things you didn't know, okay? Well, maybe you did, but anyways. So, um, there's there's mom and dad, Gemini. There's mom and dad, first there's dad, then there's mom, and there's Gemini. So it's dad, mom, Gemini. Okay, so Gemini's a son or daughter, and could be a father or mother too. Uh, but but Gemini, at the source, at three, is a uh, son or daughter to father or mother. And then, of course, you're no less of a father or mother but the, the father's actually the first position, Aries. The second position is mother, Taurus. And then it's son or daughter, Gemini. And what that means, it doesn't mean younger, more mature, Gemini. Don't start thinking like that. It doesn't. It actually doesn't have anything to do with it. It's more advanced, actually. So it doesn't go, it doesn't get to be become more immature from father to mother to, to son or daughter. It becomes more advanced, actually, all the way up to 12 at the most advanced. So you're actually more advanced than Aries and Taurus. Then you're actually more advanced than father and mother. Okay? That's what I'm saying. So don't think of it like less advanced. Uh, and, and, I'll, and I'll tell you how it works. Um, the, the father is just himself only. He's not her. But he'll possess her and try to control her. Dad will try to possess mom and control her. And if she lets him, and if she doesn't let him, then they'll fight. And then, you know, they'll have their problems. Uh, and uh, so dad will try to possess mom and control her. Dad, or dad won't possess mom and then she'll control him. And she'll be the one in charge. Well, something like that. You know how it works. It's either that way or that way. Okay? And uh, they're not each other unless they're with each other spiritually, which means he'll be possessing her. 
uh, if they're actually together. Gemini, I know, it's hard to believe. You might be saying, I know, I've never heard this before. Yeah, well, I know, but yeah, you'll never hear anything that I tell you before because, it, because it, it's unheard of. Uh, but understand that, that if you didn't know that, that, that men possess women and that's the whole idea, well, then you might not also know that in this country maybe we don't want to be, well, no women want to be possessed, so they're all mad because, yeah, they want to be possessed and then they get mad and then they say, uh, you know, why am I mad? Because they try to possess me and act possessive and try to control me and then they don't realize that that's what they were made to do. Gemini women were made to get possessed. And uh, that's what, so they're, they also can control as a goddess. Women will have control. Now men uh, don't really get possessed, not for usually as a default position. They can be and absolutely advanced signs like Pisces will do it as a man and be just as capable or more capable. But uh, in the lower houses of the default positions for one, two, and three, uh, the males will be just possessive and possessing other things. They're, but they, they can learn. Uh, so if you're a man, Gemini, you'll probably be an Aries, more likely an Aries that's a little bit better than an Aries because you're an Aries that has Taurus too. So um, you're, so that's really all you are. If I want to say that, that what are what is Gemini? Literally, it's an Aries that has Taurus too. And then is it, but isn't is an Aries a Taurus? That's the third. It's a first. So the third is the first Gemini. It's a one. It's a one. That's why March is the first sign of Aries. Is in the third month of our year. It's the third month. Uh, the first sign of zodiac Aries. Because the one is not at position one at father, it's in position three at daughter or son. Uh, it's position one. It's the first one is Gemini. It's called uh, uh, the son or daughter coming out of the womb. The first, it's the birth. Yeah, because one and two, what, Aries is singular, then there's a plural, and they're very different from each other. And the point here, Gemini, is they're very different from each other. They're, they don't get along most of the time. Now, that's the whole point I want to mention to you is mom and dad, unless they are getting along, they don't get along, and they will fight. And they will oppose each other, God and goddess fighting. Uh, man and woman fighting, husband and wife fighting. It's all brother and sister fighting, uh, and uh, and and you're gonna you're the Aries will just be one will be one, not two, and two will be two and not one, and three will have one and two, and be a third as a first with it, in it, as it, it has. You understand? And now the thing is, Gemini is that that the good that's an advancement. Yeah, you see, because because. Because they'll because each each father and mother have powers, Gemini. They have abilities and powers uh, that 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 if they don't work together, then they work against each other. And you're you, and you'll if you can have one and two because you got both of them, then you'll be able to not be um, not be uh, influenced inadvertently by one of them in a bad way. Uh, and you'll be able to have both of them, and then you'll be using them as a third spot, not as one of them. Now the point here I'm trying to make here, Gemini is if you're being Aries or Taurus, then you're not Gemini. If you're, and I understand there's many Geminis this applies to. It's a general reading, but this is just to, to help you understand that uh, Gemini is often Taurus because Taurus to Gemini, or the two and the three are very similar. Taurus and Gemini are almost the same. They're, well, Taurus is a C flat or a B flat or an A flat, musical note. And then Gemini will be a sharp, same note. So A, C flat is a Taurus and C sharp would be Gemini. That would be a musical scale trying to describe the difference between two and three, house two and three are Taurus and Gemini. Uh, the difference between Aries and Taurus, one and two, is a whole note. Aries is like A, covering the whole, you know, whatever that whole note is in A, and then it would be B, B flat is two Taurus, and then three would be B, B sharp, or Gemini, if you're, you could also be C flat. So you'd be B sharp or C flat. So you're, what you can do is, Taurus will be able to do Aries and themselves, or mom could do dad and themselves, so husband and wife could be each other, if they, if they are, but otherwise they're not, and you'll have both of them, plus be able to be a third thing in yourself. So you'll be able to be, you'll be able to be A, B flat, and B sharp, and C flat. So you're, that's, how, that's what I'm talking about, your advancement. You're actually much more capable. If you're doing it right, Gemini, now understand, if you're not doing it right, then you're going to be Aries or just Taurus, and that's it. You're not Gemini. Because understand, if you don't have one and two, because your one's fighting or your two's fighting, and I'll tell you how you know, Gemini. If you're having problems with women, if you're a man, Gemini, and if you're, or yeah, you're, you know, you're talking like, well, women, I don't like that feminine thing. Yeah, that'll be an Aries, Gemini. That's not Gemini. It's, that's why they put Aries in the third month. Gemini, <laughs> they did it. Well, I'm not saying I would do it. I would have done it. That's just a tropical form of Roman astrology. But but that does, yeah, it's it's accurate enough, but I don't know if I agree with it. Yeah, they also told everyone they have to look at the sun, even including the women. Uh, and, and that's Leo and Aries. So they said everyone has to have egos or be selfs. 
Uh, that was just the version. We still have Roman astrology today, Gemini. But, but uh, yeah, I'm not arguing with it. I'm just saying, well, I didn't choose it, though. I, I might have cho cho chosen a different form of astrology or a different chart style. Like, say, the, the moon and the Venus are what women look at. And the, unless you're Aries or, or Leo, you don't look at the sun sign if you're a woman. Uh, and uh, you look at moon and Venus. For women, yeah, they're not the sun sign unless they're Aries or Leo. Leo is a woman. And then, but Brahm, Brahm said, no, nah, no, nah, the women will just be their husbands, the husbands will possess their wives, and their wives will be good little girly girls, and, and yeah, and we will beat your ass if you, uh, if, as long as you do what we tell you, and yeah, and you're a good girl, and then yeah, look at the sun sign, you're just your husband, yeah, that's why they told him that, just because you're going to be your husband, and that's why women who get married use their husband's name, hi, I'm Mr., Mrs., Mr., do, do, do. Yeah, well, it's not like it's bad or wrong, other than it could be bad or wrong, <laughs> if, you're, if your husband's enslaving your ass, expecting you to be his little... B-I-H, uh, or, or vice versa, even the wife, you know, could be doing it to a, a guy. But anyway, sorry, let's get busy. Gemini, Gemini, let's just sit here and talk all day. Come on, man. Come on, well, man. Let's go. Okay, we're going to, all right, we're going to start. All right. All right, Gemini, I'm just trying to say, yeah, but when you, when you got one and two, Gemini, then you are Gemini. Now, now you're way advanced. Now you're doing all the A, B, B flat, B sharp, and C flat. But that's only if Gemini's at the best, and then Gemini's really awesome. But Geminis aren't at their best, and that's what I'll tell you. Many, most of you Geminis are not doing all that, like as far as A, B, B, B flat, B sharp, and C flat. Uh, that, that's just a very capable Gemini, like any Gemini can be, and that's highly capable, or one and two. Uh, that's like the, the daughter or son that is the father or mother, and, and then is in a whole new world doing it, the son daughter too. Yeah, it's like you get to be the whole family while your mom and dad are just your mom and dad, and often they're not even each other. Uh, and, and that that works for you in many ways because you'll be influential. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna start dealing. Okay, you'll be. Uh, let's just. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna quit eleven reverse, Gemini. It's the first one. I'm gonna talk forever if I don't get this started. All right, Cuna living in reverse, and it is crossed by, or it is the crossing card. Crossing number quit eleven. Native American, and uh, and I'll explain these to you as I get the second deck. We're using two decks, Gemini. Leaving or travel in reverse. I'll explain to you when I get the next deck on there. Biblical in reverse. Love life in reverse. We're going to fix that. Persecution and Inquisition. Upright. These are influences that have been on you, Gemini, that may be all your life and all many lives. Medicine man or medicine woman. Upright. Baby upright in the hopes and fears. Maybe you're afraid or you want one. But you're afraid maybe you don't want one. <laughs> Finances upright, uh, which is uh, uh, clarified by spouse upright. Okay. Now, th those are just influences that could have been on you for many lifetimes on your soul level. These influences are, are what's hitting you. So now, I, this is your reading for this life. I'm going to shuffle it just a couple more times. And we'll start. Okay. Come on, come on. Come on. Not quite ready. <laughs> I can feel it when it's ready. Okay, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Alright. Ready? The moon in reverse. Okie dokie. That's pretty obvious. Uh huh. Ooh, Empress in reverse. That's you, Gemini, and you're in reverse. Ooh, -hoo, that could be men. We'll, we'll figure it out here in a second. Five of Wands, that's in the root. Ooh, interesting. Okay, 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 okay. This is a ten of fire, ten of wands, and this is a, okay, carrying the burden. Are you Gemini? Carrying the burden, carrying the burden. Okay, uh, trying to get it off your back. Four of fire, we got a lot of fire element here, Gemini. I see Aries here, big time so far. I don't see a lot of Taurus, the mother. I see a lot of the father here, and that goes for the women too. They take, yeah, you'll take that one. That, the women will just be, Gemini's will be very capable, strong women because they're going to be like taking the man. Yeah, I, I can run faster than my brother and I can kick his ass. Eight of Earth, uh, or excuse me, Ace of Earth in your future. This is really good. This is one of the best cards in the whole deck. Ace of Pentacles. And your, uh, ooh, King of Earth. Your energy's coming up as King of Pentacles, one of the best cards in the deck. You know, really good card anyways. Yeah, it's, it's in the top. Ten cards and the best cards, in my opinion. Three uh, oh, fire in reverse surrounding you. That'll be the problem. Yeah, I see this is a problem with uh, Aries, uh, and then you're going to master the future because this reading's going to save you. This is totally completely saying uh, that uh, you've got three problematic cards here. 
And the fire element. Yeah, because you're not you're only doing one, Gemini, many of you, and if you are doing one too, you're not doing the two very good. Uh, or you don't know how to do it. And then it's showing the future though, in the future card position, it's showing you aced the two. So it's saying you don't know how to do a two for the first three cards, and the fourth card saying in the future you'll do a two like an expert. That just all all that can tell me is that, that you had to have seen this reading in order for that to be possible. Okay, page of fire is Hopes and fears. You're hoping you can communicate, Gemini. You're hoping you'll be able to communicate without, you know, overextending yourself. Awakening is your outcome in the 12th. I'm going to clarify that. That's the sun. Awakening to the sun shining on you. Awakening to uh, all the opportunity you can get. Yeah, this is all about understanding. Gemini, astrology won't tell you anything because the Romans illegalized astrology. Because they thought it was too too accurate, they thought that the astrologer should have the ability to be able to guess what the government was doing, or at least you know have enough make so much money that they could call themselves independent of the, of the rule of the government. <laughs> because yeah, astrologers were on their own doing their own thing, and people would let them be their country. <laughs> and so they were like, no, you're not going. No, you can't do it anymore. They, yeah, they basically kill them. They well, they mostly didn't kill the astrologers. They well, they did kill a lot of them, but they mostly they they would imprison them and then make them be astrologers for free. Yeah, there were astrologers, after they legalized uh, astrology f by pain of threat of death, they could do whatever they want. They could enslave you for life if you get caught with an astrology chart, Gemini. Gemini, the reason why we have animals on our chart today, animals, like the zodiac are all animals, they're not gods and goddesses. Well, there used to be six gods and six goddesses. And the uh, Greek pantheon. And uh, that we were gods and goddesses, not animals. But when that Rome, when Rome illegalized by, you know, with, with, yeah, whatever they could do. they crucify you if they want. They'd kill you on the spot. Or they'd let you go, piss, piss on you and let you go. Whatever they want to do, yeah. Ultimately, they could own you, enslave you, enslave you for life, just for getting caught with an astrology chart. How do I know? Because God has told me. Yeah, absolutely no. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, most of the stuff will never be in a history book. I'll, this is all information that I got from my tarot cards and the story that I've been told by ascertaining it. And, uh... Uh, they, they don't even talk about it because they got rid of the goddess Gemini. They, they smashed all the goddess temples uh, when Rome, after Greek, Greece became Rome, Rome destroyed the divine feminine and then, yeah, they don't talk about it in the history books. Oh, isn't that funny? It's not even in the history books at all. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, they won't talk about it for some reason. Well, I wonder why. I wonder why. There's no goddess anymore? Uh, and there used to be? Yeah, there used to be. Greece said, Greece would have said, oh my God, you don't have a goddess? What are you, nuts? And of course, Rome said, God, <laughs> we only have one God. Okay, anyways. Yeah, there's, they're not wrong. And understand that the Christians and the Catholics helped the goddess, with the God's permission, destroy Rome. And Rome fell for only one reason, that the goddess, with the God's permission, destroyed it. And it actually took her a while. She uh, couldn't do it so easily, because Aries and Leo were so integrated in society uh, and all everybody looked to Aries and Leo. All, all the signs looked at the sun sign, Gemini. They all looked at the sun sign, uh, the sun sign, to see what sign they are. And you know that. Go ask an astro go, go an astrologer. <laughs> That's what I'm calling them now. No, no, no. I'm not against them. I'm just saying, you know, maybe they can learn from me. Uh, go ask an astrologer. Go ask them like, what, what do I look at? Which planet or whatever or star to see who I am? If I want to be in a, you look at astrology, and they'll tell you, go look at the sun sign. And then you go, aha, cut you. I know now what you're doing, you Roman astrologer. Yeah, because yeah, because they'll tell you you're just your husband and you're, you're not supposed to be yourself. You're supposed to be a husband. You look to his sign. Yeah, because actually it's a moon sign of Venus. If you're a woman, Gemini, you look to the moon sign of Venus. Now understand, the, the chart that's made today for tropical chart for uh, Western astrology, the moon will be accurate in Venus. Yes, I'll say, but not as accurate as you, you get a reading from me or even... If, if I didn't have time to tell you about the charts that are more accurate, because understand, because it's Roman astrology, uh, yeah, it's the moon and Venus, but also Roman astrology changed the moon and Venus to a meaning that's not so accurate anymore because they'd said, well, we don't have a goddess, so what are we gonna you do with the moon and Venus? And well, it was ultimately just the moon. There was no Venus. Venus is brand new. Venus is less than 5,000 years old. Do you know that, Gemini? The planet Venus has only been here less than 5,000 years. I know, I know, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. You're thinking, how in the hell, with, what? Yeah, I'm saying, yeah, all the planets have been here for, I don't even know how long, but over 20, 30,000 years at least, I can tell you. And Venus has been here less than 5,000 years. I'll bet you less than three or 4,000 years. And you can find, and yeah, and I can prove it. But anyways, just trust me. Yeah, no doubt. I know this. I got the goddess telling me this stuff, and she's got the god. She says, I got him. She's not a mad goddess at all, men. She's a goddess that has her husband. And, she, and I don't talk to him. I don't know why. I don't know why. She says she wants to be included, Gemini. She said she wants to be included. 
She says, I want to talk to you, and then you, that's how you relate to your god, through your goddess. I said, okay, that's fine with me. I, I love to be a tarot reader. I'll do it. I'll do all this. I'll cooperate. This is going to be great. I'm going to have a purpose. Instead of just be a drug addict, alcoholic, freak that hates life and hates himself and the world. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, because I had a, you know, whatever. I mean, I was never a drug addict, actually. I was an alcoholic, though. And um, I just didn't have a purpose in life. What the world was there to do except drink and be feeling sorry for myself? But the reality is, is when I did have some energy come and talk to me and I realized it was true. And what, there was, yeah, this is all true. Uh, let's start, Gemini. We can talk about me later, in fact. If you'd like to hear about my life, we can talk, you can hear all about me talk about myself later. Not in this video. All right. So let's start. Unrequited love, Gemini. Unrequited love. Starting with unrequited love in reverse. This is uh, your, well, let's see what's crossed by. It's crossed by Karina living in reverse. Okay, this will be your avoiding uh, groups of people sometimes. You'll avoid groups of people, Gemini. You'll avoid, um, you know, Unless you're getting paid to do it, or you know, there's some reason why you want to do it, you'll avoid it, uh, and, and uh, you'll also be trying to avoid other people's control of you or control over you uh, emotionally or mentally, which means you'll avoid them emotionally, and mentally. Uh, you'll kind of avoid them if, at any time you feel like it. You know, you're not attached to them. You're not going to want to be attached to them or, or let them grab a hold of you. Uh, and that's the energy that's been on you. For maybe many lifetimes, it's been your you need to be independent emotionally and mentally and spiritually. And often you'll be worried about the fact that you feel like you're not independent enough. Meaning you don't want to be needy. You don't want to feel, feel like you need others. You want to be able to do it by yourself or be able to do it in, in your own way. You also don't, you also think you're superior, Gemini, a lot of times to everything else because you are you are going to be superior to one and two who are the superiors. So yeah, you're better than mom and dad who actually are mom and dad. And then you're going to say, yeah, I can do it way better than mom or dad. And you can, and you absolutely can, way better than mom or dad. But if they're working together, they'll be doing it better than you. <laughs> because yeah, the, but, but mom and dad will have to be married and happy together for them to be as good as you. And you're always better than them if they're not 100% with each other. And that's a fact. The prime number two in mathematics is, um, is an even number in the prime group that all the primes, there's millions of them, they're all odd. But, uh, but the first one's even. It's a mother goddess that gives birth to all the prime numbers. The prime number two is an even number, the first, last, and only even number, because it's, it's a mother, it's a feminine. And then, uh, and understand, it's given birth to all the composites as well. So yeah, the first composite's number four, and we'll give a math lesson later if you want to do math. I, I can do, I, I'm a mathematician too. And I'm a geneticist, and I'm a psychologist, and I don't have any degrees, so yeah. All right, so this moon, Gemini, is in reverse. It's in reverse, Gemini, and this is the moon goddess in reverse. It's, so it could be, you didn't have, it, well, upright, you do have her. So this is saying you don't have the, the moon goddess version. There's two forms of goddess, Gemini, whether you're a man or a woman, there's two forms of goddess that you'll have. Feminine energy, what I'm talking about is the divine feminine energy uh, that's not God, the man. It's not Aries, the self. It's, it's more like a not self. Uh, it's communicated through Libra in the seventh house as first as Aries. So, and then outside of it. Okay, so this moon is lack of the goddess. It's, so it says the first card here is lack of the goddess in Gemini. That's lack of the two, or the two being a one. And I can already see that it is the problem with the two, and I'm seeing you're going to master it because because you'll be told this is Gemini in reverse. This is the Empress in house three. This is Gemini. This is a, talking about the feminine three, which a man will be too, but he'll be the masculine version. So this is probably referring to women Geminis mostly, more women Geminis here. Uh, and it's saying that um, that the, what's crossing, an emperor in reverse is crossing that lack of the moon goddess, which means that, that or an empress, excuse me, an empress in reverse is crossing the moon goddess, lacking of the moon goddess, which means if you don't have, if you're a woman Gemini and you don't have the moon goddess because you only because you've got one only or you're losing your two your feminine Taurus you only got one and you're not now you turn into Aries that could happen and if you're a Gemini man you probably won't care because you'll be like so what I am a man but if you're a Gemini woman you're gonna be bent I am not a man and don't make me a man and you'll lose your two because you lose your feminine for whatever reason I and mean, it'll tell us in a minute I haven't got there yet you gotta read the cards this is saying Gemini's bent in reverse or at least the women are versions of them many of them as a general reading doesn't mean y'all are. Uh, so this doesn't apply to everybody, but it applied to many of you. And it, it's saying that if you are bent, Gemini, you're having a difficulty. There's something wrong in your energies that aren't working, and you're feeling like you're too something. No, this is not okay. This energy on me is not alright. It's because it's a man energy on you. You're being Aries, and you lost Taurus, 
uh, and it won't bother a man Gemini usually. But if, if if you're bothered, if you're a man Gemini, you lost Taurus, and you're just being Aries. So understand, uh, you'll need Taurus. If you're a man Gemini you, or a woman Gemini, you, you're, it's a two here. It's a problem. It'll turn you in reverse, especially the women, because the women are women. They're going to need some of the goddess. They're going to need some of that feminine. I need some of the feminine. I'm a woman, not a man. Don't make me a man. And Gemini, you won't care because understand what is defined masculine? What does it mean? What is a man in the spirit? What is it defined as? It's a singularity, singular behavior. That's all it is. It doesn't, masculine is just a singular behavior that includes only itself as what it's being. And uh, it's, so being a man, all, a lot of women are men and they'll just be singular. That's what they are. They're not going to be plural. Uh, plural will be fe considered feminine. It'll be a man that is also ha has uh, more than the, just a man. It'll be a man. It'll be a woman with a man, and uh, she'll be probably possessed by him, or at least, at least having him in some way, emotionally, mentally, or spiritually. And she won't be being him other than that he's being her. That she'll generally you'll take you'll take one and make it yours. You're not going to take one and say, "Oh, I got to be one." You'll take one and say, "Now you're mine," and that's how you do it. <laughs> and so it'll work, but. If it's if you're having a problem and it's like a moon goddess, because you need the yeah you're gonna need it. So the issue is you're gonna need to get the two back. So we're gonna find out what happened. Why is the two gone down wrong uh, or m m missing? It's in your root here, you have the competitive upright five of wands, Gemini. This is Saturn with Leo. It's upright. It's competitive, playful approach to horseplay, or it's with Native American. Influence the Native American influences with it, uh, and I don't know how well it goes together with the, with this influence of Native American. I don't know how they're not really into horseplay. Uh, they do it; they'll play horseplay, but they're not into um, horseplay as much as the Anglo-Saxon and the rest of the cultures. Uh, not that they won't do it, but it's just a matter of they take more seriously their spiritual reality than than regular people, like the whites in general, speaking of the whites. Now this, this is what this is saying is Leo and Saturn is a possessive using Saturn with Leo in the fifth. So it's Leo in their own house, upright. Now they wrote this card and say it's, well, it's, uh, I'll read to you what it says. It says, competing goals, bothersome conflicts, conflict with others. And this is, a, a, could be a Leo you're conflicting with or an Aries, or it could be that you have that energy. That's all you have. You're conflicting with the Leo energy because it's Aries. Uh, understand it, if you don't have Taurus, it, it will be a conflict. Um, you're going to need Aries and Leo, Gemini, those types of energies. You'll need those egos, but understand they'll need you even more. And and the, uh, they don't have you though, but you'll probably want they'll want you to have them. And understand, Gemini, if you don't understand any of this because you don't know anything about astrology or, or reality, you're going to say, "Hey, you're going to think it's just not right. How come they don't? How come they don't have me? But I have to have them." Well, because you're a three with a one and a two. And they're going to be, uh, Leo is just a one as a five because it's a prime number. The one, and it could have two as well, house two, but it won't have two itself. Um, so I understand that either, Aries and Leo, Leo will be just being Aries, the one as a five, as one five, uh, or five ones. Nothing, goes else in, nothing else goes into five. So Leo is just a one uh, as a five. And that means that Leo and Aries won't be you. They'll only be a one or five, just a one or five, nothing else. And then they'll act like, yeah, but you got to have me. I'm a one. You know, there's three ones in you, Gemini. Let's take one of me. There's, yeah, that'll be Leo and Aries. Uh, egos acting like they're better or special. And then when they're acting like that, and you're going to go, yeah, why don't I have to have you? Because Gemini, don't get fooled here. Don't get fooled here. Understand, if you don't have the one or two, you're supposed to have a one and a two. And so you do have the one. You do take the one. So when Aries says, hey, Gemini, you better take my ass because I'm the best. I'm your daddy. And you go, okay, dad, but I don't have to listen to you. I'm going to take you and then go somewhere else. You know, you're going to do what I say. Yeah, or whatever. You know, you, you take the one. You need it. You definitely need it. It's a masculine energy. You're going to use it. Even if you're a woman, you're going to use both. And, and most Gemini men will be one, two as a three. One plus two. They'll be Aries and then Taurus uh, to be Gemini self. And then understand women will do two plus one. So the only difference between a Gemini man and a Gemini woman is what's the difference between two plus one or one plus two. They both equal three. Okay. In the uh, past position, so this is saying just be careful with your playful approach. It could work. Gemini, you could use playful, joking around, trying to, you know, break the ice type, you know, like, hey, hey, hey. And that could work. Definitely could work. Just be careful. Just be careful because it doesn't always work. And it could make it worse, too. Uh, and if you don't have one or two, you won't be able to do it. So make sure you got, you're definitely going to take mom and dad, and then you're going to say, I don't have to be in your one of your ass. I'm going somewhere else. I'm running away from home. Ha. Yeah, whatever you want to do, yeah, you'll be able to control it. You're going to be master of it, not controlled by it. Don't be fooled not to take it. You're going to need it. 
Okay, so just see this right here is your pass. This is 10 of fire, 10 of uh, wands. So we've got five of fire going straight to 10, which is just fire element. This doesn't have any Taurus here. I don't see any earth sign whatsoever. This is five to 10, both in the wands, going right from five to right to 10. And the 10 is the burden. When you're doing the horseplay and then you're adding more horseplay to it, or more like, yeah, whatever, man, compete competitive, like, you know, hey, one-upping each other or whatever, trying to be kind of in control in a joking manner, you know, like, let me be the master here. No, no, and then they kind of get, you know, the head horse play gets out of control because people want to be in charge. And that's ultimately why they do that, you know, why they joke around. They want to take kind of some kind of position of, you know, getting an influence in there. And they'll use joking around or a manner of, uh, you know, to, to be able to do it. Uh, you got to be careful, and the burden becomes 10. ten. A ten, this becomes a burden. It's, it's, this is Saturn again. So we're talking about Saturn, possessive Saturn, in Leo, in the root, and now it's in uh, Sagittarius. The, uh, it's still Saturn, and now it's in the tenth in Capricorn's house. So it went from Leo's house to Capricorn's house. So the energies that you're working with, Gemini, are going to be Leo uh, at the fifth. Uh, so you could be having issues or with Leos or Aries or Sagittarius, any fire element. Yeah, but you're also being the fire element. So it, it could be you're having, a, a, you're hating yourself, or you're thinking, ah, what's this energy? If you're a woman, I, I can't stand this fire only. Or if you're a man, you actually might like it. You might be liking this, but yeah, but but you, yeah, it's possible. If you're a man, you're actually doing this and liking it in some way, but it's not really working for you. It was like you planned. It's a burden. It becomes a burden. Yeah, I kind of have to play games. We have to lie to ten women, or yeah, I got, yeah, I got. Oh my God, one lie and then fifty lies. If you're a man, Gemini, you get caught in a world where you have to cover something up, and then you end up covering it up all the time. Yeah. So yeah, it becomes a burden when you're using these energies, you'll have to keep on doing things you don't want to do or have to try to cover something you did already. Uh, so you have to be able to understand that you need Taurus, you gotta have the two. You gotta get the goddess, Gemini, whether you're a man or woman, and even, the, well, you don't have to have the goddess as a man, but you'll take the two, it's a goddess's house. It's a feminine, when I say goddess, I'm talking about mom, okay? And don't throw mom away, not the energy of mom. Uh, take your mom, be that energy that's being the goddess. She'll say thank you and she'll love you and she loves you already and she's going to say thank you. Oh, okay, now I feel important. You're taking me too? You're supposed to, Gemini. My goodness. Yeah, that's what she'll say. And uh, dad will just say, hey, if you keep listening to me, I don't care if you ignore mom, but you better not ignore me. That's what dad said. Oh, wow, I spoke for dad for once. <laughs> yeah, that's what he'll say. He don't care if you ignore mom usually, but it's not that he don't care, but it's more like, yeah, he's not going to get come over and start yelling. Until you, you know, until you start ignoring him. So uh, you're going to have to listen. To, uh, yeah, but you'll take that and do it yourself, whatever. You know, this is ultimately saying that the one is the, is what you're going to use to kind of take control of things. It's, it's dad. Uh, it's, the, it's the masculine energy of, of the fire element, uh, Aries, and the first. And all men are going to take it, and all women can take it too. It's, it's the masculine, singular attitude of, okay, I'm going to do this. That's that's what Aries is. That's what the dad is. The mom is not like that. The mom's more like, okay, I'm gonna get your father, you know, to do this. He's gonna he'll come in here and yeah, because she's more like uh, more uh, feminine. She's not gonna be doing that in your face uh, willfulness. She'll be doing. I'm I'm a woman, not in your face willfulness. I'm a woman. I don't do in your face willfulness. I'll do I'll do uh, I'll, you know I'm your goddess and you better listen to me. And you, and you can possess me and I'll tell you that because I'll because yeah because ultimately people don't want to be possessed because they'll be controlled Gemini and when they get possessed if you're a man Gemini you're going to be possessing things like Aries and you'll control things if you can get in and otherwise people don't let you in and you'll feel like dang it but Gemini they'll usually like you if you're a man they'll be more in Aries by far because they know you got Taurus if you do got Taurus but this is saying a lot of you don't you're just being Aries so understand Gemini the thing special about you women will like men Gemini's better because they're gonna say oh cool Gemini's got me too oh, the feminine too because Gemini's supposed to have the masculine and feminine one and two uh, as a man or one and uh, so yeah so if you don't have it it's a problem Gemini it's gonna be a problem if you're only one and you're supposed to be three you need two and to make yourself three you could put yourself one first and then have two to make three that'll be a man Gemini or you can have two first and then plus one to make three and that'll be a woman Gemini making two first and if you don't got to, whether you're a man or a woman, you're both in trouble. And that's what I'm seeing here. But, but, but this is the crazy part, is that we've got a pro, pro, maybe, maybe issues in, in competitiveness. Then we're going to, then the root, and then in your past, we've got now a burden coming up, doubling that, you know, maybe carrying a burden. The card says, too much work, accept help from others, life is out of balance. Stress-related health concerns, maybe. So understand, I mean, if you're having health issues or something like that, you don't want to leave or travel, or you can't leave or travel, well, that's 
You can't you can't stress out about it. And uh, you mean you really can't. The thing you have to do, Gemini, is not allow yourself to stress because that's what's causing the issues is the stress itself. And if you say, yeah, but my life's having so much problems, I can't help it. Well, you, you can help it because you could have your problems, but your stress, you can't afford to have. So you, you can go ahead and continue having your problems, but you better stop that stress. And what, when you see that, you'll say, are you kidding me? So I, I don't have to fix my problems to get rid of my stress. I have to get rid of my stress and forget about my problems. I'm going to have them anyways, probably forever. Yeah, assume you're going to have your problems, Gemini. They're not getting fixed. And then just say to yourself, I got to fix the stress though. I can't be stressed now. I got a lot of problems. Yeah, if I do, well then, I'm, okay, now what do I do? Well, first of all, I'm going to stop stressing out. That'll be my first goal. And if I can do that, I'll even be able to address my problems and consider it that important. And then you'll win. Okay, and then understand that this is, uh, if you do nothing, get the four of, this is upright. This is good. This is, means you're going to do it. Gemini, you can do it. Meaning that these issues I just brought up are nothing. They really don't matter. They're only to come bring to your attention, okay? Because this four right here is uh, in the fourth house, and now it's a four of wands. So we've got three wands. We went five of wands to ten of wands, down to four of wands. So, and the four of wands is success. The five and ten of wands are not much of a success. The four of wands is a success. So it's a good card. This is Venus, because it's got at least Venus, not the moon, goddess, mother, but it's at least got the sister, the sister. The sister is, the, is like the... the uh, the sister in the family, she's not mom, but she's the feminine. She's kind of the brother as well as, as the sister. You know, the sister and brother, the same thing, but, but they're not really mom or dad. They're the daughter or son. So the reality is this is Venus with Aries in the fourth. She can be an exalted goddess if she's, if she's being you, Gemini. And if you're a man, you'll just be strong Aries, even stronger uh, as an emperor. So you could be using even, you could be a magician. So there's, yeah, you'll be totally, if you do nothing, you've got it made, Gemini. That's what it's saying. So, so what I just said here, all this warning and these first two cards, they're just pointing out that you have a problem with the two. If you don't have it, you better get it. But, you'll, but you're going to master it no matter what anyway. So you're probably sitting there when I was reading these first two cards saying, ah, I don't know if I believe that. Yeah. Because, yeah, because you probably are, can do that. You can actually kind of shrug it off. If you want, Gemini, you can shrug it off. You have the ability because you are one and two. You love them both. So, yeah, you'll say, I can take them when I need them. Okay, the biblical in reverse, Gemini, biblical in reverse is the issues. And, it, well, that would be past life. You're not going to be tending to be too religious, Gemini, uh, unless you are. And if you are, then I want to see your chart, see what, what's doing it. It's probably, because if you don't have earth, the tendency to have earth, you're all, you got the element of fire here. It's less religious. Even if it is religious, it's not so into it. It's more like, I, you know, I want to be running my own life, not praying to something else or waiting to see what guidance comes to me. I want to use my willfulness to go get something and do it myself. And that's, yeah, and if you're honest with yourself, that's why you'll be, uh, and ultimately Taurus will disagree with that. Say, no, that's just Aries being a prick. Uh, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just sister angry at the brother. Now, now that doesn't matter though. The next card is acing it all. Uh, acing it all, love life in reverse though. That's okay. It was lot more like last life for the influence is love life. In the future, the, the, how, how can you make your love life work? Well, it doesn't mean it can't work. You're going to ace it. This ace is one of the best cards with that love life in reverse. What it's saying is, is that this is the first earth card we got now in the future position and all the past positions and present positions and root were all fire elements. Uh, yeah, five, ten, and four of fire element. And then suddenly future, it's suddenly the acing the earth. How is that possible, Gemini? Because you're watching this video. It has to be. There's no doubt. This is acing the two. So how can it be that you don't have a two and then you ace the two because you watched the video and you said, now I got it. Yeah, you'll have her. You're going to be her having her with him. You're going to have him too. And then if you're him, you'll say, yeah, I can have her too. Yeah, but I'm going to be me. Yeah, Gemini, if you're a man, you definitely have her because that's why you're going to have all the girlfriends. And that's also why the women are going to love you because they're going to say, oh, you got me too. You're Aries with me. You must be Gemini. Yeah. Ace is acing it. This is Leo too. You're going to need Leo. Ching, ching. Leo's version of Aries that's more advanced, also more problematic by far, because if they don't have two, three, and four in the fifth, doing it right, there'll be an Aries that's all out of control in the fifth. So yeah, it'll work. It'll be acing it. So this is good. It's aced. Yeah, it's saying you're going to do it. Just remember, Leo can be, Leo, you, Aries and Leo, Gemini, you could use them, but make sure that, that, that you don't let them use, just use you and don't resent it when they do try it because they're, they're only themselves. They're going to try it. And they're, and, and they're going to expect you to take them, and you should take them, because you'll use them as yourself, and then tr maybe even against them. And maybe maybe they won't like it, but too bad for them, right? Yeah, you don't want to be confused to think you don't want to take the fight. Well, you're not, really. You're taking it, so yeah, I'm not going to tell you about that. But I only see one Earth card here in this whole reading, Gemini. 
They're just going back to fire now. That's what worries me. Well, two. Two Earth cards, and then back to fire. So I think this is like, you're, you're going to be using the fire element, and you're going to have your two at least available, and you probably want, you're not going to keep it. For very long, most of you are going to, yeah, use the one, even the women. It's just because you're more capable. Okay, this is the king of Earth and your energies, and it's not the fire element. This is the king of Earth. Uh, so it could be that, that the, it's talking about men, Geminis, it could also be that this is women, um, women, Geminis, that are uh, going to be able to master whenever they get a man, they'll master that. If, it's, if he's got a two, they'll be able to do it, but otherwise they can do the one. Uh, but this is, in your energies are coming up as, as a king of uh, pentacles that is doing it right in the two, doing the two correctly. Uh, if you're a man, but this is usually isn't Gemini. This is usually uh, Leo or Virgo and, uh, and Not Gemini, so it's interesting that your energies are coming up Gemini as a Leo or Virgo So it's Leo. So now I've just brought back this whole Leo thing It's Leo's which is Aries uh, Yeah, you're gonna ace it. You're gonna you're gonna use Use fire and earth to make yourself the air sign that kicks butt and you're gonna have the ability you're coming up as a balance two, two as well. So that's interesting that you, that you don't show up as a two for the first three cards and then show up as an acing the two, as mastering the two. <laughs> interesting. And then persecution inquisition is with that. Yeah, because you're going to do it when you have to. This is suggesting masking it. You're masking it, Gemini. You're masking it. That's okay. You're Gemini. You don't need to show everybody everything you got. You're not going to put your cards on the table so the whole world can see with your hand. Okay, good. You'll have that two hidden is what it's telling me. So that's fine. As long as you have it available. Okay, the uh, mess man, mess women surrounding you energies. Well, this is going to be uh, healing abilities. Healing abilities will come from having the one and two and working them together as well. You'll have the feminine masculine energies doing the yin and yang or the yang and yin in you. Gemini, if you've got yang and yin in you, then and if you're working them together, if they're, you're doing the little DNA, the little DNA sequencing. Uh, oh, we're doing DNA sequencing. It's the yin and yang working together, him with her. It's me, it's Gemini, uh, my one and my two, being a three as a one. Yeah, it's working. Okay, then you're gonna be healthy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying, yeah, yeah, Gemini, you'll be healthy. Your health will return to you as soon as you start to realize that two can't be rejected. You can't, and, and how, you do, how do you know? What, what am I doing wrong if I'm Gemini if I got a health issue? Well, if you're rejecting anyone, Gemini, there's your health issue right there. That's all I'll tell you. You don't reject people. You don't reject things and say, no, I won't have you. You don't do that. <laughs> that's what you're doing. You're saying, no, I won't have myself either. And then you, that's, that's eventually over a period of time of stress, stress enheightenment, and then it's symptoms coming on for whatever next comes. So it's, it's ultimately preventable and curable, and don't do it to yourself. Make sure you're balanced in your emotions and mental considerations, Gemini, that you say, okay, I can do this. I can do that. I can do this. I can do, yeah, cool. And then don't be upset if you're flipping out because you got a stress related health concern or health issue. Don't just calm down and relax. And now you calm your body down and say, okay, so what I need to do here is be okay with myself and with everyone else. Yeah, that's all. That's all you need to do. Be okay with yourself and everyone else, Gemini. How long can you do that? <laughs> can you do that for a minute? Okay. And if you can, well, that'll be your start to healing. And then, yeah, maybe it's maybe that's not your preference all the time to, to be in a, in a place in your emotions or spirit where, where that is something you're not going to always want to be doing. But, but you have to be able to do that when you have to do that, whatever that is. And so then just understand that. If you have, you're okay with that, just be okay with that. And then you do it for 10 minutes and then, you know, be okay. And then don't worry about it. All right. Three of fire is in reverse. This is, um, again, um, wow. This is Aries with the sun in reverse. So I think this is talking about the, the Gemini women and men who are a little different. And so if you're a Gemini man, you could be in just an Aries. Uh, you, you, might, you might not want to be that too, and that's okay. You, if you're a Gemini man, you just can be an Aries. You're like, I don't even know about this tarot card you're just saying. I'm, I don't need any help. I'm good. Well, that's just a Gemini. That's being an Aries, but that's fine. You'll be a Gemini being an Aries. It's, a, it's a, like an advanced Aries. It's a, yeah, so that's why they call three at first. Because it's an Aries. Aries is in the third month, a Gemini. Because, yeah, Gemini is Aries. Aries is Gemini. But they're not. They're really not. Because Gemini is supposed to have Taurus, too. That's who Gemini really is. It's Aries with Taurus. And who's Aries? Aries is Aries without Taurus. That's the only difference between Aries and Gemini is Gemini's got Taurus and is Aries. And Aries is Aries by its, without Taurus. So isn't Gemini. I know. I know. I'm the best. 
I've got you inside, so we'll be, we'll be, no one will know. Yeah, all right, here's your hopes and fears. Baby upright, and with the page. This is about talent like it is, and Gemini to Aquarius. Gemini to Aquarius, so this would be, could involve this baby, could involve some baby. Fears and hopes about a baby, family, whatever. With a, with, a, with a Gemini or about Gemini with an Aquarius, uh, which uh, could work, could work. Aquarius, um, you know, Leo, Aries, but those will be maybe potentially problematic. You can get with uh, Virgo. Virgos are good to be with. Virgo, Capricorn, even Cancer. You could do a lot. Gemini, you're versatile. Gemini, you could do a lot. You could do any sign. You could be anybody. You're very versatile. I'll tell you who the best. Your, I'll tell you who your soldier squad is. It's the soldier squad is Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces. If you want, if you want to like have your little group of you know tight friends that work the best, that's what I'll tell you. Is uh, yeah, you look for Virgo, Sagittarius, and, and Pisces. Those will be your those will be your line, your little line. Gemini has your own line. Three has its own line. There's three, six, nine, twelve. So yeah, that's Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces. Gemini. Those will be your best. Friends, and they also could not be, you know, maybe they, maybe they, because they are your best friends, they're emotionally connected, real tight, and they're going to say maybe it won't work so well. Maybe they'll be, you'll be fighting with them and say I'm wrong, but but I'm not wrong. It's a matter of that you'll have to. They're, yeah, they're going to be the best friends you'll ever have. Are going to be Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces, and so then the the, the so yeah, be careful. Treat it like it's important, and uh, your outcome is finance upright, Gemini. Ooh, isn't that interesting? Finance up right could be last lifetime though maybe you're separate in this one but ultimately your the energy's on you for you're not so worried about finances or at least that's what it's saying not typically terribly anyways spouse if the spouse is up right clarified if the spouse is up right so you'll need to, yeah you'll need to have a, maybe you want a marriage maybe you want to have a husband or wife uh, and that that could help to make that financial reality easier on you the awakening is is Pisces and it's Aries and Taurus. And your your outcome is going to be waking up in in, in Pisces, Aries, or Taurus. It'll be twelfth house. Uh, starting to wake up to the to the reality. The card says, uh, "Look at things from a different perspective." A temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. Gemini, yourself is uh, Aries, and your other self is Taurus. Aries is a masculine self, uh, and Taurus is a feminine self, whether they're man or woman. Uh, but but so a man Taurus would just be an Aries in house too. But but the, but yeah, so you've got them both. So that's what you have to wake up to, Gemini. That's what it says. You're waking up to the one and two. This is the awakening card. It's 12. It's one and two, actually. It's Aries and Taurus and house 12 together working. The one and two working together is waking up to the truth. This is Pisces. See the 12 right there? I'm not making this up. I'm just, in case you're wondering, what, what's serious? Yeah, I'm no, serious. I've been telling you about the one and two the whole time. Here's your, here's your conclusion, one and two. It's the 12. It's Pisces. Pisces is not 12. Pisces is a one and two that are in the same house. It's called House 12. It's supposed to work together, and it's the most advanced. And the reason why none of the houses below are advanced is because they're not one and two together yet. And one and two could be together as mom and dad could get together right at one and two, and they don't have to go through the entire zodiac to get right. They have to. They could be right from step step one, Gemini. It's a matter of they gotta have one and two, and they gotta be Gemini then. So they're being Gemini. So Pisces is being Gemini. That's what I'm saying. Pisces will be Gemini. Uh, so the one and two is the three. Uh, and it's also possible that maybe it's in disposition as well because Pisces could be a, just a Gemini in disposition because Pisces doesn't have one or two Pisces will just be a Gemini that's what I'm saying so Pisces could be a good pick for you for a good friend Pisces will be a good friend to you yeah they'll be stuck being you whenever they're not at their best self and uh, they might they probably won't mind it won't bother them either the Sun is uh, clarifying that so the Sun's shining on you with a marriage or with a, yeah with the conclusion of financial security and uh, marriage or you know whatever you want to do Gemini you can do it this whole reading is saying Gemini can you do it can you do the one and the two and be a Pisces yes you can that's what it says to me when you wake up you're a Pisces in the 12th Gemini because you're going to say what's the difference between me and Pisces he's 12 well it's one and two if they're working together are our Gemini yeah that's why yeah it becomes the two it becomes a three in numerology the one and the two it's just Gemini what Pisces is Gemini. Yeah, working, working, working. And Gemini often doesn't work, and that's why Gemini in house three is in Pisces. Because Gemini almost certainly will be a Taurus if they're a woman and not Aries, or an Aries if they're a man and not Taurus. Just because it's natural when you have no clue 
uh, with two energies that are conflicting to take sides. And, and since we're not teaching astrology in school, Gemini, then um, by law, then who's going to know anything unless they get a reading from me? There you are. So there you are. Okay. All right. That's it. That's all I got for you. Good luck, Gemini. And uh, have a good uh, January. Don't worry about anything, Gemini. Just be your happy self. Uh, you're smarter, quicker, thinker, and faster than everyone else around you. You're going to have every advantage in every situation and be one step ahead of everyone else, uh, literally, because you're, you're, you've got the advantage if you take it and keep it. All right. If you want a personal reading, email thatworks222 at gmail.com, Gemini. Or you can email thisworks222 at gmail.com. See you later.